Chico writes, hi AMC, y'all are my favorite YouTube channel. Mm. My question is, do you think going to college or a university helps or gets you in the filmmaking industry easier, either as an actor, director, or anything else? Love to hear your thoughts. Um, it's a tough question to answer, mm -hmm. and it if it was a yes or no question, I'd have to say yes, but I have to put a little caveat on that. It doesn't increase it very significantly. It's very... Minor, it helps you prepare knowledge-wise. Uh, I think some of the best things that I learned during film school were, you know, film theory and history and, and dealing with people in terms of creative uh, projects, uh, networking and stuff like that. But I mean, honestly, I'd say the majority of people that I graduated with are no longer working in the industry. Right. Because it's, it's, it's more than just, I don't know, it's, it's just something that's, there's no path, there's no direct path to getting a job and then also it's just it's one of the things that you have to keep going and going at what, what do you guys think yeah I mean I went to film school and went to acting school after that and I, I think that in some ways it didn't help but you're right it's the networking it's the people you meet it's the people you know and what they end up doing and what you end up doing so I, and also I think you're talking about an age where you're from you know 17 or 18 to 21 22 those are maturity growing ages, you know, and I think it's good to be in school. I enjoyed being in school at least and kind of wasn't necessarily what I was learning in school, but the people I was meeting and the ideas that were sort of growing and changing as far as what I liked in film and, and, and that kind of thing. But at the same time, you know, I went to school 15 years ago, so we're talking about an age now where you have YouTube, you have mm. an mm. iPhone that has a camera, you have editing software on your computer. I mean, we had to be in film school in order to get equipment. Now you have the equipment. Mm. So I'd say do both. I'd say go to film school and make a film, do your thing, and, you know, if your thing starts taking off and leads you out of school and you leave early and you decided to, you know, then great, then, then, then more power to you. But maybe mm. a combination of both. Yeah, most of, my most of my practical knowledge of like shooting and editing and all that stuff came after. Yeah, it came from after, learning and experiencing and doing, yeah. Yeah, outside of yeah. school. So it's, it's something you can learn while you're at school or you can learn on your own. But I, I, I would advise that people who are interested in doing it that don't want to go to school, that I think that's totally fine. And yeah. that doesn't determine whether you're going to succeed or not. Mm. But actually try and learn something. Because there's people who are like, oh, I really like doing it, so I'm just going to do it. You right. know, versus actually trying to figure right. out the craft behind it. Well, and I think the message here should be kids stay in school. <laughs> kids stay in school. Um, but at the same time, listen, if you know you want to act, you want to be an actor, I don't think you need to go to you know, a four-year university, no. move to New York, move to LA, take acting classes from a reputable acting teacher, and just start doing it. So there's different, there's no right or wrong yeah. way. Yeah, I agree with you guys. I mean, obviously it gives you a good basis for some technical knowledge, yeah. but it doesn't necessarily make anything easier to get a job afterwards. I'm no. not a filmmaker or an actor, but I didn't go to university. I just went straight from school to working the lowest totem pole at a TV station where I get coffee for everyone and then slowly worked my way up and learnt on the job because that was just how I That's learnt better and then I was able to network with everyone and, and now I still keep in touch with people and started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, yeah, there are people definitely that prefer to learn in a school environment and of course that gives you a great basis to start from. And, and some, I think some networking's people... the most important thing, meeting people and you know, wherever you can meet them, in school or making films or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some people need that structure though yeah. for school. Yeah. Like if you're a person that needs so to be told like you need to do this or that or whatever it's it's great for those yeah. type of people i'm a little more outside the box i kind of do things on my own so like doing stuff on your own can be good and bad as well and, mm. and like what you're saying is like you could you can start at the bottom without any stuff it, i think you just have to have that passion mm -hmm. and hard working work ethic yeah. to, to actually do it you can't Keep just going. be like a lot of people just like i love movies well that's great yeah. but that doesn't that's not going to get you anywhere. now what you going to do Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I agree. What are your thoughts on it, Chris Lee? Um, I, like Alicia, did not go to school or college necessarily for uh, what we do, um, but I did take lots of classes and workshops, and I did um, do on-the-job training as well. Mm. So, I mean, you, I think, 
I don't necessarily, I wouldn't tell anybody not to go to school for it because I I think that there's some great things that are learned. I did take a lot of journalism and communications classes, Um, but with, with our business, whether you're on this side of it or making films, on the job stuff that you're gonna learn is so different from what they're gonna be able to teach you in books that it's really kind of the kind of thing that you have to be in there and you have to be in the trenches to really learn it. I mean, I didn't know what it took to make a movie until we made one. And you don't realize how much work goes into that. So I I feel like it's a more hands on the job kind of world. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.